I'm enjoying that slow, smooth free jazz. Fall jazz. As a uh, new intro there, just yeah, it's the one off. Was all right, that. I'm, I'm quite was. in the zone, you Mark. You know what I mean? Chill back. I am. I'm chill. Dismissing your smoking jacket yeah. and bubble pipe. Nice. Anyhow, today is the 18th. It is the 18th, isn't it? 18th of June, uh, yeah, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our weekly Heathlands Live. Hello, my Hello. name is Smith. And joining me as ever is the most wonderful Mr. Mark Watson Esquire. And Hello. also in the corner, the lovely Miss Helen Tuck. Hello. Hi, guys. So what we've got for you today, well we've gone through, well, let's have a bit deeks first, first of all the weather, the weather's actually, it's not and it's all right today, ladies and gentlemen, no day at all. read us before, uh, I believe tomorrow is a grey day yet still a drying day, but on Sunday, mm. rain. See, when I look tomorrow is actually warmer than today, but not muggy. as much dry, dry like sunlight. Yeah, man, it'd be muggy, wouldn't it, you know I mean, humidity. Possibility so, of thunderstorms. I don't know if we're going to get them though, are we? I think Probably they're more not. day and safe, or it's towards your east coast. Um, but anyway, so let's have a uh, equipment check. Have I got my pen? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have my pen. It's a Heathlands pen. It is one. And uh, thank you very much, Alan Tuck, for supplying me uh, one short notice there because uh, I left mine. I went in purple uh, bubble. Have I got my bits of paper? Well, yes, I do, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a post it note pad. That will do for me, sir. And also, I have my drink of water. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Ah, so, okay, okay. So, we're going to mix things up a bit today. Uh, I'm about to leave the, the broadcast before mm. the end, but we don't know yet, we'll see how far we'll get on. So today's agenda, the agenda being the things that we're going to sort of uh, talk to you about and show you today, includes, but it's not limited to, uh, the news information and thanks, mm -hmm. the Art Stroke Activity Showcase Extreme to the Max, this week featuring Nature, sc Scran and Holidays, Mark. And the Holidays. worst pizza I've ever seen. Right. Scran both nice and a bit dubious, so we've got that going on. We've got also the old uh, Heathlands Habitats stroke 30 yeah. Days Wild, which we're continuing to do. And we might so have a little bit of building news. A little bit of building news, all mixed in with the general uh, melange, if you will. Um, so, and some shout outs, which I may do first, just to mix go it for up. It, a go bit. for it, go for it. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, I again feel a disturbance in the force like a thousand voices. Screamed out and then was silenced as we go to a screen peep. Helen, who the hell have we got and what the hell do they want? So, good afternoon, everybody. The first person in today hello. is Mr. Matthew Beattie. Mr. Matthew Beattie, Ooh. hello, and I hope you're enjoying. Oh, and I have any digs. <laughs> That's what I call the rotator. <laughs> there you go. So, hi, Practice that for hours. Uh, <laughs> next in is Miss Sarah Farmer. Hello there, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Mark Smith and Helen. Uh, and all the Heathens bubbles. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Mike Aiken oh. is here. Oh. Oh, hello there, Mr. Michael, Michael Aiken. Aiken, watching you like a hawk. <laughs> Good to have you on board. Uh, and then we've got Kaylee. Seeing oh, right, you are. Okay, Mark and How are you doing, Lass? Hope you're enjoying your day. See oh, you all soon. Certainly, yeah. No, you're bothered at all. Hope you're doing all right. Hi. Oh, now Mr. Matthew Beattie's got some news. Has he new? Would you like to know his news at Air it. and TV? Uh, I might know it already, but yeah, go on. Is it airport related? Matthew's going to Manchester Airport tonight. He is. Not only that, Alan. Not only that. He's stopping in the travel lodge for two, not one but two nights. Ooh. Is he actually going on the plane or is he just going no, to No, he's going to uh, he's got a plane spot in a bit, isn't that? Cool. So I'll ask him if he can, if he wants to. Um, he's got to take a few photos and send them to, you know, Oh, yeah. I wonder if he gets like a hotel room with a certain view so we can see them from exactly. his bedroom. Yeah, be all right, but uh, he'll be standing uh, on the viewing platform overlooking mm. the air from, uh, I would imagine. Now, if he's in Travel Lodge, right. I want a photograph of the complimentary breakfast. Hang on, do you get complimentary? Yeah. Well, it's not complimentary <laughs> generally. Yeah. Well, I if do you have, have to a pay breakfast, for it. I want to see what he gets. <coughs> oh, see, well, I'm getting mixed up with the Premier, isn't he? Premier ones which normally have a boozer downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you can, you know. See. My, my dad's up in Carlisle at the moment. Aye. He stopped at um, the Gosling Bridge. Oh, I, I said I'd go and join him for breakfast. Aye. Um, which is usually breakfast in places like that. I usually like for pick whatever you want, have whatever you want, just go nuts. Aye. Now it's kind of like strict. In, you'll sit at your table Aye. and you will pick one of everything off the list that you want, well, and that is all you get. Well, no, no. You know, like last year with the old E2 Tell Boot carry on. Yeah. Mm. Well, what it, me, uh, Sheldon Mealy went for the breakfast at the. Was it border gate, whatever? Anyhow, so what you did, the woman comes around with a little pen and that, and asks his, you know, uh, four sausages. 
four bacon, two black pudding. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you can have as you much can. as you want, but you just get it in an order rather than I'm just going to help me salad and be a piggy. Yeah. Yeah. I will have everything. Two and of twice everything. with chips, please. Um, and a bucket to be Yeah, hope you enjoy your trip. Yeah, nice Thank someone. You. Tell us all about it. Yes. Uh, Jackie's saying hello from Lara, Emma, Abby and Mark. Hello, hello there. Hello. 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 Hope you all be having yourselves yeah. all in the purple. I very much doubt it, though. Uh, next in we have Mr. Paul Major. What's your Paul? Hello, hello Heathlands. Oh, hello. Yeah, well, good to uh, hear from you. No, Alan or uh, Anthony. Yes, it's, well, Ooh. obviously, you know, Anthony's uh, always engaged, isn't he? He is. It could Do be. you know what I mean? Maybe the question will not be forthcoming. However, it doesn't have to be either Alan or Anthony who asks no, the questions. No, somebody else can ask the you questions. You know what I mean? Somebody else can swoop in under the radar, knock the crown off their heads, and take the kingdom for themselves. Now. Game I'm, of I'm appreciating <laughs> this. Mr. Tom Hall's saying hello. Hi, Tom. Oh, hello, Tom. I saw and, Tom. Hi. And first of all, how are you three? Thank I'm you, Tom. I'm all right, Paul. Actually, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. I've seen Tom uh, Saturday. Yeah. Up the old, uh, up the old Aldi there. Yeah. I he did well, a bit of shopping, but so. the thing was, he had my mask on, right, and my shades, and I was like, all right, Tom. And uh, I think well, I can't <laughs> use the phrase I want to use. But let's just say, he was thoroughly shot. Um, but uh, he's like, I didn't know it was you. Did he call the police for help? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I know who else saw him. Funnily enough, Aldi That's what's big people today. Oh, uh, Jordan? Which oh, one? Tall. Oh, tall. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, right. 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 Did he do all right? Um, yeah, he was doing shopping. Right. He was getting his shopping in. So it's about Al Harabi is the place to be now. It's, you know what I mean? Uh, since I it's moved there. The, the social it, hub. It is. It is since I moved there. Everybody's there. It's great. I want to say around the corner from me, I have uh, Brian, I have oh, Jeanette yeah, Johnson. I know oh, Connor's actually working in. Um, <laughs> Maria Pinnell. Like the. Uh, sure, start something, I think it is. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, Maria's just oh, down yeah. the road. We truly are men of the people, haven't we? Yeah. You know. So, oh, yeah. anyway, thank you for asking, Tom. We're nice all grand. Uh, Anthony is here. He is. Oh, he is. He's great. He's kept it his clay his crown. Deepest, darkest Dorset. He is, I was just crack. Hello, Spiff and Mark. Hello there, aren't they? What have you had for your lunch? There, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And he did say underneath, and Helen too. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh, Smooth, right, Anthony. What did, uh, what did you have, Alan? Uh, I, I saw had, what you had, actually, didn't I? I had luxury tiger bread Oof. sandwich nice. with cracked black pepper cheddar. Cracked black pepper cheddar. Cracked black pepper black cheddar. Black cheddar. Black <laughs> with mayonnaise and uh, cheese salad. So it was a cheese oh. salad sandwich, yes. Oh, cheese salad. Did you have one? Well, Helen made me a cry. sandwich cry. with um, chili Philadelphia and tomatoes. Oh, oh, simple, understated, but nice. Mm. Mm. I just went for because I wanted a bread, so I had to crack up on the emergency wraps. So I just did uh, like a tuna mess, so uh, tuna mayo, salad cream, uh, lots of black pepper, finely chopped onion. So I made that mm. one for me and Cheryl, but with mine, I chucked some, well, that's me chucking in willy dilly, some capers. Okay. Very nice. I haven't even needed to have a ready yet. You know what I mean? So, so far, so You've good. cursed yourself by the end of the show. You know what I mean? That's it. I've got some, I'm too low, I've got some ready. So, yeah. Cool. What have you had for your lunch, Anthony? Aye. Let us I know. hope it wasn't. Well, well, you see the photo. Oh, later, right. You I'm wouldn't need that twice. So, uh, Paul, you, Paul is saying that his lunch was scrambled eggs, bacon on toast with tomato ketchup. Oh, nice. nice. See, I'd, that's nice, but I'd have gone for the, the HP on that one. Yeah, like it sounds like a brown sauce combo. Yeah, it does, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, nice one. You put mustard on. I put mustard I'll on put everything. I put both on. <laughs> puts mustard um, on Must, everything. Mustard's a universal sauce. As a, as a multi-condimentary guy. Uh, the only thing right. wrong with mustard is it doesn't come in big enough pots. Oh, you're right, sir. No, you're right. Mm. I agree with that. It's true. You're like a barrel of it, that. Huh? Yeah. So, Kaylee's saying, yes, all good, thank you. Enjoying the sure. Somerset weather. Nice one. Champion. Excellent. And finally, Heather is saying hello, Helen Spiff and Mark. Hello, oh, Heather. Did you say something about Boo Spiff or was it Boogie? I don't think I did. I? There it is. It's, do you know what? Equally uh, could be valid. I don't know. I can I, talk I about both at that length. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I can't, I can't recall. I sound like a politician. I can't the... recall saying those words before. No. We were talking about the boozer beforehand. Yeah, I can't oh, remember right. what the context was, but there was uh, mention of booze. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's gone. I'm just going for it. Booze and a boogie. 
There you go. Sounds like a cheap night out. The workman's club in 1984. Five pounds, booze and boogie. So keep Bring your questions birds in the coming, keep them thick and fast. Aye. And if anybody else wants to ask that please, other question. Please do the other question. No. Do you know what I mean? This is it. This is the, the top class, top flight entertainment. It is. You haven't. So, maverickly, do you know what? Ups, down, blocks, white, and turn and things around because I'm going to do the share test first. Usually the last thing as well. I know, that's it. So I'm getting them out now, you know, in case I can do the Nash a bit early. Okay, so we've uh, we've sort of had contact with Marty. So I phoned up on his mobile telecommunications mm. device, Mr. Andy Rudd, and he, as he said, he's currently in that there Dorset. Mm -hmm. um, he's having a nice. crack and time. It's all sort of good. He's having a good chill. One thing that was, you know, you know, you, you take sort of, what's the word? It's Schadenfreude, isn't it? You know, you take pleasure in somebody yeah, else's so you. At the moment, doing that, it's Chuck and doing it's a bit cold. Oh, and I had great pleasure oh, saying, oh, it's lovely here. <laughs> Aye, but the, the red hot for the yeah. boots, you know, I've been mean, 29 degrees for six days or something. At least so, they won't get some That's a bit warm, Exactly, yeah. So, but it's, I, what does he say he was doing now then? I've lost me a bit of, oh, there we go, yeah. So I just sort of chill and take the dog down to the old seaside and that. Mm. Yeah. Splash it about in puddles and the lot. There's some photographs of said carrying on on the uh, the old art showcase later, so yeah, they're both fine. Ah, new then, I've got through to, to David and Sammy. Apparently Sammy is off mm. uh, this weekend, she's gone for two or three days. Going over to the North East. So I, think, I think they're also in talks about coming back. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, I'm, I've got it on my agenda, mm. Mark. Got it on my agenda, yeah. So she's off for the the uh, the week uh, the weekend, maybe back to Tuesday night with a brother, which is cool. David's absolutely made up because for the first time in like a gazillion years he's going out with uh, Colin on Tuesday. Oh, I like to do the. I mean, you're bird watching and that. Oh, fantastic! This is bit I reckon it's spying. That's what I reckon it's spying. But it's just all over those maps. It does that. Uh, it's just bombing runs, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? He's working. He's a fifth columnist. Uh, but as Mark rightfully says, we're expecting them back at no firm date. Uh, I imagine no, I, I think they're all ready to go, yeah. apart from transport. I exactly, um, Yeah, so we're expecting them both of them back uh, two days Shall a week, we? I think, yeah. in, a, in a few weeks' time. So it'll be good to see you as well again. Yeah. Who else? Ah, of course, my nemesis, Mr. David Swart. He was in fine fettle. Absolutely fine fettle. They, like staff answered the, the phone and all, yeah. as soon as the phone went up, she was like, hello, you know, da, 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 da. as I was explaining about, could you stay in Mac? Is it Kojak? And of course he was, as David <laughs> Smart, I was called the Kojak. So what's he been doing then? Uh, he's been doing right, really enjoying the football, as uh, a lot of you are out there. Yeah. Uh, tonight, he, oh, by the way, yes, he wants me, uh, he impressed upon me, he wants to say a big hello to you all on site hello. And, uh, out there watching on telly. So I'll be coming yeah. from Dave's. I only realised the football was on when I heard people chanting. What's going on? Riot. Um, yeah, I'll take any notice of it, neither. Um, but him tonight, he's, uh, he's wearing his England top. He's going to be oh. watching the game. And tonight, you know, like last week, he was drinking the old. Uh, I think he was on Stella and. Uh, Stella and Budweiser. Budweiser that was this it. week, in the true European style, he's got a room Europe, Mark. And Carlsberg. tonight he's, he's going to get uh, caned, sorry, have a couple of drinks of Peroni. <laughs> you know how England are caned today? Scotland. Scotland. Right. Scotland. 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 Right. So, right. Right. whoever you're supporting the so gospel tournament, I hope your side gets more net points or whatever. Cushney, uh, so that was him. No, Dylan couldn't get through, however, um, last week um, we, had a, we had a visit. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A visit, an impromptu visit, which was uh, really nice to see him and Anne, and he's looking really, really well. Um, mm -hmm. Seemed happy enough, so that was good. Who else have we got? Uh, Glenn. Glenn was the last person. Right. I got his doing fight. Again, he's enjoying the football, and uh, his weapon of choice this evening is going to be cider. Oh. Yeah, it was strange enough because I was, yeah, so I was asking him, you know, apart from that, what you're doing is like, because uh, you know, he does his artwork and stuff, and he goes through different themes, you know, a lot of times he avenges this and the other at the moment. He's doing uh, the old War of the Worlds, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, I was talking to him about that, and I said, I can remember when that actually came out. Because uh, about nine year old and my brother bought it. I was like 1978. Straight away he went, like for June 1978. Yeah, he went to see the uh, kind of I think it was I'm a rock version I'm of it. Or something. Yeah. He went to see like a rock version on stage, and he's got aye. like this gatefold that comes out. Aye, aye, aye. Was that the Theatre Royal? I think me and my dad sure. was going to get tickets. But, um, it looks aye. a really good yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um, oh, I love it, I can remember, as I said, I remember uh, my brother. I suppose we, we won't be seeing him for a while because he'd have to get a bus to come in. Yeah. You're not allowed to do buses, are you? Uh, not yet, not yet, but you know, so. So that's the end of the old uh, shouts. But what I'm going to do is move briefly and swiftly on to cover a bit of, a bit of news, ladies and gentlemen. 
And to be fair with you, there's not there's not that much. We're just ticking along, yep. as as you as you know, and as we mentioned over the weeks, we you know get the trickle back of people again, just for those who don't currently attend. We are working, and will be for the the very far, well, considerable future, and a bit past that, into different bubbles. Yeah. So when people yeah. get off their transport or their taxi or the man drops off, whatever, we will go straight to where we're going to spend. The and day everyone seems to like it, so it could it be a thing, it could be a thing to stay. I think so. It but seems to work. It seems to work better. It kind of avoids, even though it's sort of nice to see Pauls in the morning. Some days it was just bad, wasn't it? Just everybody crushed yeah. in and yep. couldn't get seats and this and the other. So it's far more, it, it seems a far more relaxed start to the day. So um, with that in mind, you will have heard us talk about the blue bubble stroke, minion bubble stroke, whatever, that is basically, again, for those of you who haven't been on the site for a while, mm -hmm. where the sort of band thingy be bob was beside the main building, yep. we now have two, not one, but two, two. park cabins, one, has been in use for a while, which we call the orange, orange bubble. bubble. Oh, snop uh, bubble, some people call it. You are the oh, snop bubble, bubble because of the lurid green within it. Um, and the second bubble has a work gone on it. Now, I do believe, Alan, you've got a bit of an update on that. Yeah, you know so me. I was speaking to the contractors over the past week, and um, all the plastering's done, all mm. the doors have been fitted. I think most of the internal windows have now been fitted. Right. And today, I can reveal, they've oh. actually started painting. Right. So you know what, I've never been in there yet. Now it's going to be a nice Good. space. Right. It's going to be really nice and yeah. warm. So apparently the flooring contractors are coming next week with right. any luck as well. So, so it's all it's all the wires and all that in then? All the wires yeah, are in. Them. Yeah, all I right. had an email off the contractor right. um, about the wiring and the lighting. There is yeah. an issue with the lighting wiring. So right. the electrician is coming back next week right. to fix that fault. Right, okay. But it is so all it's, in, Well, yes. it's, all, it's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. And this is it now. So we, we, we adapt. To mm -hmm. the situations, you know what I mean? And Adapt uh, and expand. We, turn, we do, yeah, exactly. You know, some people will be like, oh, can't do anything. And as we keep on saying, if you haven't been on the site for a while, when you come back, it'll it, be totally it, different. It is proper surprise. massively different. Proper surprise. Yeah. So, yeah, cheers for that one, Helen. Uh, as always, as always, a big, massive thank you to all our staff, all the staff that uh, support uh, on site on a day to day basis, um, all the staff who produce our wonderful. Uh, online content and the website and everything that goes with it, the stuff that uh, do both as well, mm -hmm. and also stuff that uh, sort of part of things like better together, things like that. So yeah, um, well done everybody. And again, a big thank yeah. you to you. Pat yes, yourself that's on the you. Back. You, the, the members and the viewers of this year broadcast on our content. Uh, mm. for the support, encouragement, and feedback you give us. Because it would be quite pointless doing it without you. It would, eh? It would. You know, we'd, we'd just get sick, eh? <laughs> you know, I'd lose, I'd lose heart, Mark, frankly. Uh, so, big thank you for all that. Uh, on a personal level, big thank you for those who joined in the absolute chaos of last Wednesday's Ocean Bingo. That was it hilarious, was a cock, wasn't it? It was a cock. I saw a bit Neptune was there. in full flow. I was there. I was in full flow. I think it was the water pressure it was yeah, affecting me canals. Your blue flowing locks. It was, I. Mm -hmm. I tell you, some of said there was only a, a yeah, it's only a bit of cellar there. Sweaty. They were red hot. It was just having yeah. those few strands. I up was there an hour. sweating looking at you. <laughs> it oh, yeah. was. That's the ex that's the extra mile I go to, ladies and gentlemen, for the performance. But it was but, a really good gig that. And I like did you like the facts this week? Because it didn't, I did, do, I. didn't do facts no, about just, the specific no, ocean creatures. Just, just random. General ocean Exactly. Facts. Ocean, ocean madness. We was. learnt this week Aye. that there are more artefacts Aye. in the ocean Aye. than in every single museum and gallery well, I, I know that around the world no. combined. I know that for a fact because I lost 54 pence in the uh, in the surf. In 1978, yeah, in the ocean. I went in the it's still there. More antiques, no, more no. artworks, more I'll, I'll be down there with the metal detector. I think you should. <laughs> in the ocean. That is, aye. Then all of the museums aye. around the world put together. Exactly, I think that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, having said that, the ones in the museum are pretty easy, pretty, uh, easy to look they at. They are, eh? I'd yeah. imagine that. Uh, anyway, so on the back of that. But the ones in the ocean them. could be yours if you find them. I don't know, it depends mm. if you fit them, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know modern time. That's why I said could. Uh, getting away from this paralegal conversation of salvage rights of the deep blue sea and possible doubloons. Uh, yeah, can it's just reveal that uh, the next bingo, which will be two weeks and a week on Wednesday, will be ooh, 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 monkey bingo. That was the worst monkey impersonation I've ever yeah. done. I'm never going to do a monkey That was more of a chimpanzee. It was, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know what the monkey sound like. No, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so monkey bingo a couple of weeks. Again, for those of you who do not attend at all, 
uh, Heathlands. We'll be getting those up to you electronically. Yep. Um, for those of you who are, and I realise not everybody attends on Wednesdays, uh, the same th sort of thing I did for you uh, last week. We've got the printed sheets. And if you're already in on a Monday, I'll give you the sheets then, Tuesday, etc. Yeah. But, yeah. So if you so, ask a member of staff, I'll, yeah. cool. and I'll get sort you, you right out. We will. Mm. So there's so much to look forward to in like, this life, isn't it? So that's the end of the news for now. So again, I'm feeling a rumbling. Uh, I think I don't know if it's, it's this. I don't think it's me sandwich. So let's again for a few screen peeps and see the zoop there. What have we got? Out so and what have we got out and out? We have uh, got Anthony saying I've had fish and chips well for my dinner last night. Good. You do all right, you are lovely. lovely. We had burgers last night. Do you know what? I had a bit. I, I did bit, but instead of a bum, mm. check it out. I did it. Uh, and this was another one of your wraps? Wrap, like not a wrap parcel. Yeah. So is this because you never had a bun? <laughs> I didn't have any buns. Uh. No, I had some, some, perf oh, some perfectly good wraps to, to use up. No, no, Mickey Burger and I made a sauce mm. combo of uh, American mustard ketchup mayo, fiery chopped uh, gherkin in it, nice. spread the roots on the wrap, lump of cheese in the middle, grated, burger on, raw onion on, mm. more cheese on, fold it up, dry fry in the pan, you see. Nice. Sounds Anywho, uh, well, I can't remember the question. Was oh, that fish and chips? <laughs> right, yeah. So, so is he not asking a secondary question? There isn't a secondary no. question. Ooh, Come forth no one's asking. Yet. Yet. Aye. Is nobody going to ask us the question about tonight? Yeah, yeah. Come on. No, leave We've it. Dropped enough hints. Uh, Heather saying, last week I was at the cinema watching A Quiet Place. Oh, the first one? No, the second one. Second one, aye. A Quiet Place. Aye. And that's why I wasn't watching you three at Heathland. Don't blame me. Okay. Aye. You've got your own life, haven't you? You can watch it back later. It's not as, a as in everything in life, we are optional. We are. <laughs> we are not mandatory. Uh, no, I'm not up you enjoying it. The film was exciting and a bit scary. Aye, it is, aye. The evil aliens. Aye. Well, are they evil or they're just trying to get some of the Who knows? Do you know what I mean? I don't think I know that film. What's that alien film that I really like? Alien? It's based in London. Oh. Attack the Block. Attack, Attack the, the Block. Guy. Is there another sequel to that? The one about mechanism. I love that I film. It's I great. Think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on. Aye. The film is exciting. Blah, blah, blah. War of the Worlds on stage as well is good. Oh, so Heather's been oh, the same as well. There you go. There's I wonder if they're at the same time. Worlds, there's one scene that's like War of the Worlds yes. in Quiet Place. Oh, there you are. Watch out yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Cool. Nice Anthony's saying, getting back from Heathens, can Helen have lunch with me? Certainly, sir. When you're back at Heathens, we will absolutely sit and have lunch together. That would be lovely. Well, I'll, I'll wait. I thought it was Mecca lunch. No, no. Oh, can we wow, have lunch can together? Oh, right. You might, you might bring in one of his tray bags. Huh? Aye. Aye. You're lucky. You know, all I'm saying. Uh, Anthony's saying he's currently got a coffee from Morrison's that they're in the car. He's doing oh. all right, isn't he? Hey, living like a lord, the lad. Good on you. Hope you're enjoying this. You seem to be, isn't you? Sarah was saying, did you enjoy playing Poseidon or was it Neptune for this occasion? I, I was both. I was Poseidon. And I was Neptune, I was in what? I was, I was, because uh, I said back hands, I'm not Aqua, I'm, I'm Parney Gadji. You know what I mean? <laughs> Parney Gadji. Parney! Finally, for, for the time Aye. being, uh, Matthew's saying, I'm watching you like a hawk. Like right? a oh. oh, Good man! Good, good man. man. Okay, Excellent. science of screen peeps for now. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a busy hour week uh, with one thing or another. Certainly. But is. why is it not? I'd take time to relax, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy. This week we have, well you'll see it, but we'll be introduced to you, ladies and gentlemen, up there on TV land and across the bubbles, across the nation from all time and space. What? Our art, stroke, activity showcase, extreme to the max, this week featuring nature, scran, scran of dubious origin and holidays. Mm. Right, what we've got, ah, no then, you'll have seen this progress over the weeks, ladies and gentlemen. It's a uh, uh, Francis it's a Francis creation, new to what he's been doing today. It's hard to pick up because he's finished the main body of it, if you will. Um, around it, because he's, he's stitching it now onto a bit of, you can see the background like uh, purple mark. I can see it. See that, that lad, seriously, if you watch him work, you know, he stands on a knee and watching it, and he's so precise. Do you know what I mean? Just really takes his time, makes sure he's got in the right bit and whatever. So well done, Robin. Hope you're watching this. Good lad. Who then? This is another one fresh off the uh, off the press. So I think this morning. Sock person? It's the sock. It's the sock cat, I think. I think sock it's a cat. cat. Sock, 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 cat. sock cat. Sock cat. So Emma, um, is uh, not this up sort of thing, and it's uh, part of a present to a, to a dad for Father's Day oh. this Sunday. Is that a she, brand new pair of socks she's bought to make it with? I, well? I think it I is, don't know. I think you get the kit, then. It's you? a whole yeah, kit, so you get the socks in the kit right. with all the sewing 
But it's not only that, not only that. The she's rocked up in some scran from. Uh, I didn't even know it existed. Castle chocolates. Castle chocolates, yeah. Out the back Go of the market. The girl made chocolate. Yeah. So he's in for a good day. I hope he's so, not watching. So is a cat. Matter. Is a cat stuffed with chocolates? No, it's just stuffed with stuff. And you squeeze it the top of the pie. Aye. <laughs> and no, it doesn't bear thinking about it, does it? Actually, no, that's quite yeah. Yeah. We'll move on. Yeah, so right. nice one there. Ever there? Ooh, New then. This one. I don't know this one, and I was told. I was told. It looks like it's been a kit that someone's bought. Where's it's on. It's very if neatly it, done. Could it be an MD? Ah, oh, do you know what it is? I saw do it. Yes, I did. It's all because only the thing is why I didn't get it straight away. I only seen it at the very start. Yeah. It's Emma Davidson. And what it was, you got it from Warcraft or something. Base I, but base see that it's like a bit of wood, Mark. And it's got lots of little holes in. Yeah. And then she was doing all the stitchy stitchiness. Very but I literally really only seen it when there was like three red stitches, done I think. So it took us a while to see. Well done. That'd be a good kit for Eva. She'd do smash. No, look at that. It's uh, it's like uh, a it's cushion. Yeah, obviously it's a cushion. She's gone around doing cushions. Recently. There's going to be more cushions than couch. Do you know why though? Do you know why though? Because she informs me on Tuesday. Ooh, I'm getting a new couch and Friday. Another one. Rolling in money she is. So uh, she's been going around with cushions. Um, so well done, Kim. Nice one. Ah, new no, that. Ooh. Ever, is it? No, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not an ever because there's no missing no. stickers. No. Maybe Emma Davidson. Emma Davidson, maybe. Aye, but that's absolutely outstanding, isn't it? Yeah, the, the arcade. I'm liking the, what I'm going to call it, the wing <coughs> shimmer. Do you know what I mean? It's I'm, I'm whistling, trying to make a noise of light. Uh, right, new then. This no, looks this like happy. Of, no, um, nah, 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 joy. Joy this week has frankly gone at raj. Yeah. Now, before you click on to the next one, what? she's just, nobody's told, taught her this or whatever. She's kind of just automatically or naturally changed her technique and how she's doing stuff. Yeah? She Pre has, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, like previous, blum, 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 paints, da, 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 da. But now, paints, get that off, bit of water. Do you know what I mean? So if you yeah, look at the top, the, the snout. So maybe we're watching Bob Ross or something. Maybe, but if you look at the snout of the, the sort of crocodile, yeah. see how it's like dark green like at the top, tea. and then lighter. Do you know what I mean? And I watched her do that, yeah. and it wasn't just, oh, that's how it turned out. She's done that on purpose. Well done, Joy. There's, good. There's loads of water, come on, that. I think we've got a, like a sort of thing. Ooh, uh, uh, that's another one. Can't yeah. quite see. It's a lion. Is it a lion? Eh? That's the lion, yes. Uh, yeah. Really but good again, lion. That, that sort of blending of colours, your you yellows to your reds to your oranges sort of thing. Oh, it's um, Jeffrey. Look at that. Look that's at really that. Good. I absolutely adore this uh, Do you know, do you know, what, I, do you know what I like most about that? I like the background and the fact that, if you like the, the heat, it's a, it's a definite background and foreground. Yeah. Do, yeah. do you know what I mean? It yeah. is, it's amazing. It's the lines on the face are slightly different angles to yeah. the background than the neck. Man. And then they like the, the lighter bit on the chin. Yeah, excellent. Pull up now. Aye, right, there you go. The no, I'm there. not being raj, right? Montage. See that? One day. One day. One day, that. But do you not think the and way that she's developed her art, they, they could belong in children's story definitely, books? Definitely, definitely. Absolutely I'm, perfect. Is that one there, an elephant from behind? I, I think so. I'm, I, because I mixed the grey for that. And I got it all doing my arm. <laughs> you did, you were right, Clarty. I was Clarty, no, fine. But yeah, and she just, it's the speech she's doing them. And it reminds me, you know when you get these people that like, abroad, <laughs> and they just do a painting, and they can do like the Notre Dame or whatever, in literally 15 seconds, and then charge you 10 euros. It's like that, she's just yeah. like there, bit of, bit of paper, and, and then that's just 10 euros. <laughs> done, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's uh, so well done, Joy. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, this is a ladder. No, um, well done, couldn't it? couldn't get it on uh, last week because it wasn't finished. But again, look at the actual sort of uh, detail. I think obviously, mm. Donaldson did the, did the outline of you know what colours like go where. I like the fact that you can see the, the shape of the faces. Yeah, but the actual actual sticky <coughs> on of the things, you know, you can tell the the precision. Is that either a white chest or a beard? It could be, or maybe it's it's killed a, a dove and it's eaten it. You never know. So Lara, well done for that. I love them that, but I don't know who did it. Yeah, so it's got like this weird star necklace on, and it's got a set of eyes, another set, second set of eyes next to his nose. Oh I, oh I, uh, I don't know who did this. I don't know who did this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna presume. Could have been in. I don't Emma, know. Emma Davidson, Emma Fadon. If you know out there in TV, ah, that's not who coloured this in. Like thing. Jackie. Paula, oh, I, Donna, yeah, yeah. Maria, yeah. anybody, Jeez, Maggie, upside, whoever's right. watching, yeah, yeah. That's that's do let us know. It looks very 60s. Ah, no, Ooh. apparently, 
A tail hangs by this. Ah, grasshopper. So apparently yesterday, I think it was in the... the uh, I think there's a close here as well. All right, get to the next bite. Here we go. Close. So, leave it there. So apparently, yesterday, I think it was the, the slot bubble stroke, orange bubble. Um, Donna sort of made this noise. Because she'd seen the grasshopper in it, right? And uh, she's Johnny, Johnny. So Johnny gone and took it out, yeah? Puts it on the thing and that. And she's oh, I'll take a picture, yeah? Oh, I'll get a bit closer. <laughs> Immediately after this photograph was taken, ladies and gentlemen, whoop, jumped right in her head. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, and I can imagine, I imagine she went, oh dear, oh, yeah. or words to that effect. Did but you I'm, know all right. that the world's first natural gearing or cog system oh, yes, has I, been yeah, found I, I've seen on that. grasshoppers? I, Hind legs, yeah. so it's, it's the, to make sure the, yeah. that their legs spring in unison to I, get the yeah. most efficient hop. Yeah. <laughs> They've got oh, ratios, yeah, they're locking together, don't they? Yeah. So, there you so go. that was uh, Donna's comedy moment. Now then, Eva, go up. Not very often we see this, is it? Mr. Michael Aiken, so indeed. So that's either a V for Vendetta, or Come it's going to victory. be a medallion. It is, it is, it's a, it's a, it's a medallion. And again, you know, we've sort of said many times, you know, previous previous times, he's like, right, that's it, I'm on the computer, that's me. He's actually getting involved, and I've got some shocking footage. You know what's wrong with that photo? What? He's got a jacket on this, with it. He has not all. Yes, I... It's not been called in the past no, week. No, it hasn't, no. But uh, there you go. Here we go, he's Chris, he's, I don't know what he's doing. He's Opposite side of the table, in the shirt, with the exactly. door Exactly, he's having a thing, he's having a, what you call it, he's having a good old time there. Nice one, Christoph. Here we go, what's next? Here we go, it's, it's, a, it's a two and four, it's like a ch game of chess. Oh, look, you get a bonus Dean in the background as well. Oh, look at him there. <laughs> He's got a bottle of whiskey in his hand, I can't see. Uh, no, he's working hard on his phone. On some right. game, probably. Uh, next, then. Oh. Here we go, ladies oh. and gentlemen. I Look give at the you concentration there. Mr. Daniel Egan. Now, I wasn't in, uh, in the room for this. But by all accounts, absolute concentration from the lad. I can see it. Absolute concentration. Rather than just like, oh, I can't do it. You know what I mean? And giving up. So, I, I, think, I, think, I think there's a few, a few of him. Right? So, you can flip through them. So but uh, yeah, I don't actually what the, the work he's doing on there is, Mark. But I can see what like this. No changing his face. Right, did, 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 look at that. He's like he's like that. He's in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. Now, but hey, <laughs> gift. Um, yeah, but oh, okay. seriously, uh, Daniel, well done. Yeah. And again, Crackin doing work, something different it? rather than just like, ooh, plugged in on the computer or whatever. That's fantastic. Not to that see there's it. anything wrong with being plugged in on a computer. Nothing at all. But no, for ten years on straight and then suddenly digging out. Daniel plays that. this wonderful game called Little Alchemy too. Oh yes, I've seen it. And I... it's a it's a conceptual thinking can, game. I can basically. remember when we played the first one. Was given. And it's where you have to combine things right, to, to, make things, to create right. new things. Right. And you've got to yeah. think about the logic right. of like putting an animal with a farm yeah. and you get a domesticated right. cow or something. Not all but of them are logical. But he's no, been, no, it's a, it's, it's a he's been playing that for a very long time. So what's yeah. different in the second one? More stuff. More stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, Nothing but I've got a winning formula. I can't really top it. I'll just change the font a bit and the colours. Oh. Uh, now then, this is uh, Mr. That looks like, uh, Alan Mr. Henshaw. Henshaw residence. You can tell by that work surface. Now this oh, is uh, a luxury. It's tomatoes. Luxury. Yeah. No, it's a corned beef. Vash, Mark. Oh. But he's gone right with the tomatoes. There's a quite a fair few on there. Uh, you've always got to watch when you put tomatoes on stuff like that. Because literally they're hotter yeah. than the sun. And all the juices flow down, so ah, depending yeah. on what you're making, it can ah, be. I don't want to be too soggy, but it looks all right. I just got a bit of HP on that. Yeah, I wouldn't complain. I always have to have HP on, a, on a anything called beef. Yeah. Do you it, know what I mean? it, no, it has to be. This is, uh, this is Abby. Abby. Abby's, been, Abby's been doing a few of all these uh, cowies. Just like a, a necklace y sort of band yeah. thing. Yeah, she's right got into the beading recently. Ah, since the really lovely Helen well. Walsh did that um, heart hanging decoration. Heart hanging? Heart, heart hanging heart decoration. Hanging. <laughs> uh, tutorial yeah. for a son. No, that's cool. Well done, Abby. Here we go. Here he is. One man and his dog, Seaside Edition. There's Look at that. Is that a so, set of um, green crocs as well? I think it could be. For you. Well, I love it. It, it looks like it's Capri. It's 1952. It's a film star on holiday with his dog. Well, I mean? can't work but, out if it's pause or it's cold. <laughs> no, I think it's a pause, actually. For all of you out there yeah. in TV land, Aye. when Anthony says Pippa's saying hello, this is Pippa the dog. Aye. And Aye, I've met Pippa. Pippa. She's lovely. Aye. Really nice Aye, dog. No. Yeah. But uh, look at that, he's enjoying himself there, isn't he? Lucky lad, lucky lad. It's nice well, water as well, really transparent. It's clear, isn't it? 
Play it. And this is a this is a, a photograph. Uh, I think we've got a couple of them actually. I think you've got a lovely sunset. This is from uh, this from is where they're staying. You aye. ask and then you shall receive. Exactly, aye. There's another one you say. Um, lovely, yeah. So one was sent in by Anthony, another Hang one on, was sent know. in from Daphne. Lovely. Right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen some things in my time. You know, ships on fire off the, the belt of a lion. There's quite a lot of know. things wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on in this image. Let me try and talk you through. It is what it seems to me. This is uh, another, it's an Anthony Rudd, and he likes the scrap. Seems to be a bean top pizza. Dodd with mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Put randomly as well. Put like... that, yeah, that's what I mean. There's need, there's need. See, method to it. Now, I absolutely right. love mayonnaise with right. pizza. I love dipping. Well, yes. But don't I don't know, know how I feel about mayonnaise and beans. Oh, yeah, I have trouble with it. See, sriracha. Brown sauce, aye. Sriracha oh, with brown beans. Oh, brown sauce. Well. Oh, looks cheese with beans. Can't go wrong. Corned beef. Well, with you can beans. choose on pizzas. Aye. So, but, um, aye, it's, it's a tough one. I mean, obviously, I Do you know what would be even wronger than that? If there was pineapple on the pizza and beef? Yeah. Pineapple oh. and bean pizza. <laughs> no, thank Pineapple you. Pineapple no. belongs on pizza. Oh, no. God, no. 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 Anyway, so, yeah, that's uh, in our little window as well. But if you enjoyed it, that's fair play. I Doesn't think that is like it for now. I think that's, that's enough, good. frankly, isn't it? So, again, thank you all for bean all pizzas. the work. I know it's made me bellies. Um, all the sort of work that's been done on the site, all the stuff that you're doing at home, uh, sending into us absolutely fantastic so a big thank you from all of us to all of you uh yeah. what we're going to do now then what i'm going to do actually then is we'll do it. a final screen peep we're going to do a final screen if we peep. can but oh, and do, do, then do, i will do, leave you do, in the do, hands do. of lovely helen and mark because i'll have to do the mash you so will we'll, we'll do the, the, so, the um, ethan's habitat and you can segue out i'll yeah. segue out i'll probably so, call how your leaders go we yeah. have after uh matthew watching yeah, yeah. like a hog Miss Catherine Chuck saying afternoon. For sure. Hi, Catherine. For sure. All right. Uh, Heather's saying, I was thinking about Darth Mull Marathon. Darth Mull Marathon? She says Mull. Darth Mull Before, Mull. that was good, but when it played different types of music and had a barbecue and got... No, she's talking about the um, the music marathon you did to raise oh, money. Right. The Darth Audio yeah, Marathon. That, oh, that was and we were all sat out in the sun. Block. Steve right. was there, wasn't he? Ah, he had yeah, a few yeah, cheeky yeah. blue wickets. Chris and um Richie was Richie there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Heather yeah. was there. Heather was having a cocktail, if I remember rightly. Yeah. She do she normally does. Aye, very nice. She's Aye, good memories, cocktail. Heather. That was a grand afternoon. Now Catherine's in, she's right. been paying attention. Hello. What are we having for our dinners? Right. I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. After all that, After all that, all that build up, ladies really and gentlemen, don't know. we're going to, to, to the blacksmith. We are. Oh, Mark and I are going to the blacksmith arms in Tolkien to have dinner with family, which is going to be absolutely mm. wonderful. Timidy, timidy, top, Last top, time top. I was there, I had haggis and black pudding with chips with whiskey cream sauce over the top. Last time I was there, it was 1985, I was 16 and I was asked to leave. <laughs> There you Why go. am I not surprised? Never returned since. I haven't. I think the man. Watch, we'll go ahead and there'll be a picture of you on the wall. I know. Do not I was, no, I wasn't causing any bother. I think, I can't remember. I can't, I don't want to If you can't remember, there's a good chance you were causing bother. <laughs> no, I think there was a misunderstanding. There. So Anthony Sims coming back on home on Sunday. Yeah, cool. Catherine saying she's doing pulled pork with refried beans and nachos That's and nice. stuff. There will Ooh, be jalapenos. That, that'll cause the wind. Can you imagine that in a two-year-old? Oh, 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 <laughs> no. no. Aye, a double bag Good luck with that, Catherine. Aye, push day. Uh, Mike Harrington's here. Hello. Hello Mike. Hi, Smith, Mark and Helen. England to beat Scotland tonight. Come oh, on. Right, I, mean, I would say so. Yeah. Not that I know anything about football. Tom saying, Helen, you should take a look at the letter which I found in my pigeonhole today. The letter is from a firm called Wedlick, B Wedlick Big Bell. That's a handful. There's a what now? It's My letter says that Wedlick Bell, the letter dated April, blah, 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 has been passed on to Mr. Hockney's office. Oh. David Hockney! He's going to get a signature, isn't he? Oh, dude, if you're getting a David Hockney signature, I um, no. definitely want to see that. Keep on of that. Absolutely fantastic. Photocopy it and get a Especially if he does your hard drawing. Oh. Do you know, I had a friend at university who, um, Asked, sent away for an art right. project. She sent away to famous people asking them to send them back writing implements oh, right. that they use in their oh, everyday life. Right. So she uh, wrote to politicians oh, and right. writers and she wrote to Sir Patrick Moore. Oh, right. 
him off there, that's uh, sky, at night. sky at Night. Do you know what he sent her? Oh, Christ, I don't know. A Quail. pencil with a clanger on the end. Nice one. I yeah. enjoy How that. cool is that? Excellent. Uh, anyway, Jackie's saying the drawing, the, sorry, the oh, colouring no, no, no. in is Emma Davidson's. Oh, Thank you, Jackie. I had a feeling, eh? Anthony's watching the football tonight. Catherine's saying that um, Daniel needs to be turned into a gif. <laughs> Definitely. Paul's saying hello to Catherine. Yeah. Hello, Catherine's saying hello back. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, this exactly, is Exactly, aye. And Catherine's saying hot sauce with beans, nice, pineapple yeah, belongs on pizza. Oh, you're all wrong. You're wrong God, there's, the, the, they've all got right into the conversations. Seriously, let me do it. So, <laughs> Anywho. Been, Heather's saying she's been doing some wild challenges in Penrith. Yesterday oh, she did the wild see. quiz oh, and God. sketched a snail. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Uh, don't miss the picnic with the birds, but doesn't matter. Don't you can mark. still do it. Do what the hell you want, when you when want. When you want. You know what I mean? Don't uh, have to be, you know... She's been busy with all friends going to the Carlisle Market. She saw Kath and Tony. They so were very time. pleased to Good. see her. Well, that's Excellent. nice. Cool. Right. And finally, yes. Catherine's saying, Phil has Patrick Moore's phone number. He's an old family friend. Well, he won't get through to well, you. Yeah. Will he? <laughs> say it's, he's but useless now. That quiet. Oh, yeah. A bit useless now. Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to have to do with the match, ladies and gentlemen. I'd still so. like to see you answered that. I imagine if you did. No, don't. Open a can of worms. I'm going to do the Nash. Uh, I shall now leave you yeah. in the most capable hands. I'm so we will segue over to him. Yeah, I, and I'll see you next and week. And then by the time we come back, you'll yeah. see Helen in there a you different seat. It'll be absolutely seamless. Yep. So as long as I don't break my neck with my crutch. <laughs> so it says 30 days wild. So, for 30 days wild, then in the past week, where have you started? There. So this was day 12. And day 12 for 30 Days Wild from the Wildlife Trusts was to make art from nature. Now, mm. I'm going to say in advance, all of the pictures that I've got for the 30 Day Wild challenges this week have all come from one person. Because I'm this individual, starts with an e. this person is doing every single challenge well every single day. So this is the work of Emma Davidson. She's been out and about. She's been collecting loads and loads of things from around her garden and out in nature and this is the artwork that she's created from that collection it's good absolutely beautiful i love all the different colors yeah. and textures i like that there's shells in there as well is that cobwebs or wool or something in the center that looks like yeah it looks Real like wool. wool it's maybe come off a field boundary or belly button fluff i doubt that very much so moving on that was day 12. day 14 Oh, that, that, that was your, your, that was a oh, your, it's, your it's, cue. It's a so, very nice snail. Day 14 was find a tiny wilderness. So what we were being doing was we were being asked to find a wilderness and take a closer look at it. And this is one of the pictures that Emma sent in and she's found this gorgeous little snail. Oh. Uh, so that was day 14. And then day 16 was sketch, a up, sketch a close up. So we were invited to draw things and look really closely in at the details of them. Uh, as you just heard, Heather was telling us she's drawn a snail, drawn a snail, I should say. Um, and um, uh, Heather, please do send that in or bring it in with you and we can maybe put it on next week's Friday Art Live. That'd be lovely. So Emma here has done a fantastic dragonfly. Well done, Emma. Right. So, so that, that's the end of the pictures for... 30, 30 days wild, wild. Yeah. we are now moving on to Heathen's habitat so we've got so, right, more so this is a video so let the video play unless you tell me to pause it so we've got lots of lovely footage from our cameras out and about at Heathen's now this looks like a photograph and it moves into but it moves into uh, yep, a beautiful video of a squirrel so we've got quite a few grey squirrels on site and we're, we're in talks with the red squirrel preservation society in Brampton because if we want to promote having red squirrels here, which is our native species, instead of grey squirrels, we'd need to trap them. Now here is the first in a series of pictures and videos of a fox oh, at Heathlands. Oh, now, we nice thought weapon. that there was only one fox. However, as we go through the pictures and the videos, hopefully you can see that we've got not one but two we have here proof at Heathlands. Of two. We have got proof of two foxes at Heathlands. So here is one fox coming to have a quick look and say hello. And then you can see he, he moves there. off and moves away. So he's gone off to the right of your hand side of your screen. And Maybe in just a moment, left. on the left, 
another fox comes in and walks after him. With longer legs, so it might be an older one. So we think one is an older fox and one's more, more a young cub, a this cub. year's cub. So we've got lots of photographs of our foxes yeah. here at Pausing Heathens. for the cameras as well. But um, yes, yeah, some really nice close-up footage there of, I think that's the older one. Yeah, it's a longer leg. It's one. got longer legs. But as you can see, the, um, they're rummaging about in the long grass. And I think we've got some f photos or footage a bit later on. Yeah. That's the young one, definitely. Yeah. That is a young fox cub. It's looking directly and into the camera. That's a young one as well. Um, and he's looking directly at the camera. So we need to work out if they can sense the infrared light. And there you can Pops see he's the pouncing off to the side. He comes back for a look. Yep. Definitely interesting and in the camera. And then we've got him further up at the back there, just off the centre of the middle of the screen. And you can see he's rustling and rummaging and in the grass. And he's eating something there, so I don't know if he's caught a little mouse or something, but he's having something for his dinner. And he wanders off. But how much more of the Fox videos have we got? Because we got quite a bit this week, didn't we, Mark? Yeah, I think there might be a break and then it comes back. So, yeah, he's having a look, seeing Still what's going on. Still looking at the camera, though. But he is. We're going to have to find out whether they're sensitive to the infrared light that the... Um, the camera gives out yeah. so the infrared spectrum that is illuminating the um the footage here in the photographs at night we can't actually see that or register that so we wouldn't think that there was a light on if we walked past this camera at night but the fox can clearly sense that the camera's there because he's looking directly at it constantly yeah and is that where he's, he's catching something or he's yeah. looking in the undergrowth it's again? He's searching for something. So I think that they're looking in the long grass for things like mice and voles and, and shrews and things because um, it's one of the easiest Tasty things that they snacks. can catch to eat. Yeah. So there he's looking at the camera again and that's a fantastic that's photograph of him going past and that is definitely the older one, yes. He's got a much more developed tail and he's got much longer legs. And there he is hopping away, I yeah, think. Yeah, he's, he's off to summit. There, yep. He's got it. And this is the cub in, so that's daytime. in the daytime. So as you can see, he really is quite small. Um, so I think that's one of this year's cubs. Yeah. I think so he moves towards to... the camera, doesn't he? Yeah, I think you might see him move about a bit. Oh, no, that's the older one. That's the older one, definitely. And he's got a clip on, he's moving quite may be, quickly. Maybe, maybe even more than two. Yep. So that's the young cub wandering off and now we've got a bunny now so that's obviously what the fox was after yes we do think that the foxes will potentially be hunting for the bunny rabbits that we have at heathlands but as you can see it escaped it did escape or we didn't capture the footage of its demise if it did be get caught by i like fox. to think it escaped yes so yeah that's one of our resident bunny rabbits looking very healthy it is, yes. And as you can see, it gets quite close to the camera, which is lovely. And that's it on its way out. So, yeah. Uh, and this a is a blackbird that the camera's picked up. Trying to say a lot. And, and then the back. box is back. So as you can see, the cameras were very active, or this camera was very active over the past couple of days. So this was from the 15th to the... 17th wasn't yeah. it and the random pigeon random pigeon and then oh, the squirrels back Squirrels back. so that's a good picture of a squirrel's bum and he's yeah. off and away now i think this piece of footage was taken just before i collected the camera yeah from its location so to, it was tw to about 12 hours from the first squirrel that we've seen yeah now this squirrel, you can see it's going up the lawn in there, up towards where the porter cabins are at Heathlands. Now, so this, this is the last bit of footage. This is the last bit of footage, is it? Yeah. That is one of our resident house martens. Oh, sorry, it's the last bit on this video, sorry. So, house martens are migratory birds. So, they uh, come here to lay their eggs and, and have their nests in the summer. Um, but for the winter, they migrate south and they go all the way to Africa to overwinter so they're just summer visitors here but as you can see we've got this lovely uh, nesting bird and that's on the underside of the roof on our log cabin yeah. so and our extra bit of footage that came in at last minute was 
Yeah. So we there got we a, go. a lovely, lovely video of our resident roebuck. He's an absolutely fabulous creature, and he's definitely over two years old because he's got at least four points on his antler. Um, and yeah, just great, great piece of footage oh, to capture and see. So Mark's just going to scroll through and see if he can get a better shot of him. Yeah, there. Absolutely beautiful. There. It's a nice shot. It is. And Lovely as I say, at least a four pointer on his antlers. So I think he's at least two years old. And as you can see from that footage, he's in really good condition. From that image there, it looks like he's got three legs. It does, doesn't it? That's odd. It's because that silly piece of grass got in the way. So. But that's that, at the same place where the foxes and the squirrels it and is. So It seems to be like the little hub for. It's like a, a, a kind of junction highway or intersection where all the wildlife kind yeah. of come and track through. So that is us back to the studio. It is. And Helen is now over there. So I've moved positions because the lovely Spiff has had to leave early, yeah. uh, which was all planned. Don't worry, guys. So what I'm going to ask is for Mark, Ooh. in a change to usual procedures, has a final screen peep. So who have we right. got? And Where what were we up want? to? What was the last thing you read? We were up to Catherine, I think, saying that uh, Phil's family knew Patrick Moore. Okay, so Catherine. Phil has Patrick Moore's phone number. Okay, Catherine Tuck. I'll fill you in. So that must be in reply to Thank the you, first Thank you, Catherine. Heather Dorviston is in with... He's got the same name as a famous astronomer. No, that is the famous astronomer. That is the famous astronomer. Yes, that's who we're talking about, Heather. So my friend at university did an art project where she asked famous people to give them writing implements that they worked with and she had them all framed with their letters and things and Patrick yeah. Moore from the sky at night sent her a pencil with a clanger yeah. on it. It was absolutely and beautiful. And Phil, Catherine's partner, yep. Phil's dad, went to school with Patrick Moore, if you remember, I think right? that's, think, or yes, college so, or something, university. something like that, yes. Um, so Catherine's a and a half, his, her father-in-law knew Patrick Moore. So there you go. And then we have Anthony Rudd with Get Back Home and Get Weighed. Oh. oh well, you know what they say about <coughs> holidays. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. No, I'll maybe leave it a day or two just yep. in case. Absolutely. And then last in today, Heather Dorvison with I don't know where. I don't know there was I didn't know there was all this wildlife at Ethan's. Neither then, did we. Well, we had suspicions that we, we had quite a good variety of uh wildlife yeah. at Heathens. However, um, we've never had the opportunity or the equipment to be able to record and catalogue all these things. No. So over the coming weeks and months, we will be doing loads and loads of work to kind of assess and catalogue everything that we've got at Heathens. Yeah. So we've already made a start on cataloguing all of our wonderful wildflowers. And I think I've catalogued at least 24 or 25 different species of wildflowers so far. We're going to record all of our different um, animals and birds. And insects, will we? And, well, we're going to try and do the insects and the butterflies and the moths and things. <coughs> we have been told as well, there's a part of the, the farm that not many people have access to, in a way, which is meant to have quite a lot of adders on. But we haven't actually seen them or can't find them yet. We've never seen, well, I've never seen an adder at Heathlands. We've known um, of people see them. We, we do know of someone who's uh, seen them. But we haven't got a picture of one. Um, next week, actually, I'm going to do a feature in um, not Heathen's Habitats, but other wildlife from 30 Days Wild, because I've had some photographs sent to me from family and friends that have been looking out for wildlife while they've been out and about as well. So if you guys are out and about and you photograph any wildlife, if you go down to the coast or the marsh and you see some lovely birds and things, or even if you've got bird feeders at home, do take a picture of what you get and what you see and send it in and we'll do a special feature yeah. on uh, wildlife from all of you out there in TV land. And uh, two messages came in just there as you were talking. Oh, or well. Three. Oh, I think it <laughs> Anthony Rudd with I miss you so much. We oh, miss we you miss too, you Anthony. too, Anthony. We can't wait for you then guys to Then there's a long back. one off Tom. Let's read this then. I suppose you could say that Patrick Moore is the sky at night. He is. In other words, he's up there every night and Helen, you might be in with some luck, because if I do recognise Hockey's autograph, then bound, then bound to receive a bunch of signed items, so <gasps> I might see. 
Oh, Tom, that would be amazing. I'd love to see all that. Yes. And then last in by Heather. This is the last one I'm going to read. Yep. That's interesting. I have seen Patrick Moore in the distance talking about space in one of those buildings in Liverpool. Oh, fantastic. Nice one, Heather. Good. Yeah. I bet that was amazing. I would have loved to have met yeah, him. Yeah, it'd be an interesting block. It would, topic. absolutely. Well, if that is everything, guys, it we is, are I mean. going to say goodbye and au revoir. And we hope you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend. I hope the weather's good for you, wherever you are. I know there's lots of you still out and about on holiday and things. And we will see you, same place, same time, next week. Ta-da! Bye, guys! Mm.